Hey guys, thanks for joining me on this one. Three things that you absolutely need if you are going to be shooting wedding videos in 2023. And if you stick around until the end, I have a bonus tip. Also, if this is helpful to you or you just enjoy the content, go ahead and subscribe, like it, all of those things, but let's get right into it. I started shooting weddings uh, several years ago now, and when I first purchased all my gear, it really was just a guess. I saw videos just like this with people giving their opinions as to uh, what is important and what's not. I just went and grabbed one of these and one of those and one of those. And through trial and error, there are three things that I would absolutely recommend when shooting wedding videos. The first thing is cameras. And yes, I did say cameras. I'm a single shooter, meaning it's just myself at the weddings, but I absolutely rely on having two cameras. Now, I'm not going to tell you which camera to get. I think you need to do that research and figure out what works best for you and your style and how you want your video to look. However, whatever camera that you do decide on, make sure that your secondary camera matches that camera. When I first started, I had two cameras, a nicer one and then one that wasn't so nice, and they didn't match in specs, and I quickly found out that I couldn't get all the shots that I wanted. I didn't have the flexibility that I would like because of the quality of cameras. I wanted, obviously, the higher quality camera to get the majority of the shot. I knew I was missing out on quality, by shooting something with my other camera. So it ended up to where I just couldn't be very flexible. I currently shoot with a Sony a7S III and an FX3, both within the same family, using the same color science. It has absolutely been a game changer for me. So make sure you have multiple cameras with generally the same specs and look. That way you don't miss any shot and you have greater flexibility while shooting your wedding. The second thing that you absolutely need is good lenses. Now, obviously, if you have two cameras, you need at least two good lenses. The lenses that I currently use are my Tamron 35 to 150 2.0 to 2.8 and you can look uh, up in one of these corners for a video that I did on this lens. Absolutely an amazing lens with so much flexibility, giving you so many options while shooting your wedding. The second lens that I love to pair with my Tamron is the Sony G Master 35mm 1.4. This is an absolute stunning lens, gives you so much depth of field, uh, gives you that great detail look. I usually put it on my camera that's mounted on a gimbal. That way I have my handheld that I'll shoot with this. I can bump in for different shots and then uh, I just have that really nice prime on my gimbal getting all of those really smooth cinematic shots throughout the day. So these are the two that I usually ride with the most. However, if you don't have a zoom lens and you want to just shoot primes, I would suggest that you have at least three to four different looks. Uh, you could get as wide as a 24. I wouldn't go any wider than that, but you could do a 24, a 35, a 50, and perhaps an 85. That would uh, give you great focal lengths. All that's going to be determined on your style, how you like to shoot a wedding, and most of all, how you like to edit your video. The third thing that is an absolute must is audio. Here are my suggestions in capturing the clearest audio possible. First, I use the Tascam X8. It has float bit technology. I don't know all the ins and outs, but what I do know, it will take a line in, perhaps from the DJ's audio system. You can go straight from his board into the Tascam uh, X8 and use the float technology so that it never clips, which is an amazing thing. I've done a couple of weddings where it got really close. There was a couple of times where the audio was uh, almost unusable because it was clipping out. I thought I had a good setting and then someone gets on the mic and they get right up in here. This gives you a peace of mind that you're capturing the clearest audio and that it will never 
clip. It's salvageable, you bring the gain down in post. Aside from my Tascam X8, I also use in tandem the DR1011s. These are body packs with specific microphones that I place on the groom, on the efficient, and on the bride. They are an all-in-one device, meaning they aren't wireless back to the camera. They record all the audio on board, on SD cards, and you have to sync in post. I'm blown away whenever I get the audio off of these and match it to my video, how clear and how focused the audio is. You will want to use these for all of the events that you're capturing on a wedding day, not only the ceremony, but all of the first looks, all of the behind the scenes activities, if possible. Uh, clear audio and audio from the day that you can use is just going to enhance your video. I hope this was helpful for you. The three things you absolutely need are cameras, lenses, and audio. And just as a bonus, if I could add one more thing to this list, it would be lighting. Maybe I'll make another video on that at another time. Thank you for joining me on this one. Hope this was helpful and see you on the next one.